Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson about the season of fall or what we sometimes call autumn. I do have to say though, um, I live in the northern hemisphere. So, when we talk about fall, that's because fall is starting here. I know some of you live in the southern hemisphere and everything is the opposite. But this particular lesson is about the season of fall and I think it's going to be very North American, okay? So, as I cover the season of fall or the season of autumn, these are the things that I'm familiar with as someone who lives in Canada and a lot of these things are quite common with our cousins in the northern United States. So, we're going to uh, learn a little bit about the season of fall today. Before we get started, I do want to say hi to everyone in the chat. It's nice to have everybody here. I see Madi and Rod VIP is here. Brent from American English with this guy is here as well. Rachel Ting is here. Uh, Sandra and Ashraf and Todd of course is here because Todd helps out uh, and Panthera Nori is here. Thank you for coming half an hour earlier. Um, normally, I have been starting at eight o'clock. Actually, since COVID started, I've been doing this Friday live stream at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will now be at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time going forward. So, hopefully that works for most of you. And again, just a reminder, if you are watching this lesson, this is a lesson about the season of fall but it's very specific to Canada and I think most of the northern United States. Some of the things I talk about might also happen in other countries but it's very much a uh, northern hemisphere and uh, North American type lesson. So, I hope you do enjoy it. Uh, a few things before we get started. If you have a question, please use the link that Todd or Dave will be sharing. Actually, oh yeah, Dave is here this morning. Good. I see Dave in the chat. I couldn't remember it, Dave, if you were coming. I know you were planning on it and I shifted the time. I'm glad it worked out. Awesome to have you here. Um, so, yes, we have to start half an hour earlier because I need to go to school in a little bit but uh, let's get the lesson started so that you don't have to listen to me yammer on about things that don't matter. Um, so, first of all, this season has two names. The most common name is fall, okay? So, when we talk about uh I think September 22nd is the first day of fall this year. Um in Canada, in my part of Canada, we use the word fall far more often than the word autumn. So, fall is simply the time of year when summer has ended and it starts to get a little cooler and we're moving towards winter in three months. So, as you look at the seasons, you have spring, summer, fall and winter. Um the word autumn can be tricky for English learners. You can just ignore the N at the end of the word. Don't try to pronounce the M and N together. It's simply autumn, okay? That is exactly how I would say it. Like we're starting to see uh the first signs of autumn right now. I think in the UK, in the United Kingdom and in like in Britain, they say autumn more but I'm not 100% sure of it but we definitely use the word fall quite often when we are talking about this season. Um and one of the coolest things about fall is what we refer to as the fall colors. Now, you'll notice I put a U in the word color because I'm Canadian. If you were learning American English, just take the U out. <laughs> but fall colors refers to the leaves on the trees turn from green to all different shades of orange and yellow and red. It's a very beautiful time of year and we simply refer to it as the fall colors. We'll say, oh, aren't the fall colors beautiful this year? Did you go for a drive down Main Street in this city because the fall colors look amazing there? So, when we talk about the leaves on the trees turning color, that's also the phrase we use. We refer to it as the fall colors. Um one of the biggest things that happens in the fall, actually more the late summer is that it is back to school time. So, a week ago, many schools in Canada opened. Some are still opening this week but it is definitely fall. One of the first signs of fall is that children go back to school. Um so, again, this really does happen at the end of the summer technically but we kind of view this as one of the first things that happens in the fall. You know that the season of fall is near when you start to see school buses on the road. That is a good sign that the season of autumn or the season of fall is beginning. Um another thing that happens quite often 
uh, at this time of year is people get family photos done. So, a family photo is when you hire a photographer and you have a picture taken of your family. People do this at various times of the year but fall is an especially popular time because it's so beautiful outside and the weather's still warm enough that you can be outside comfortably. So, you see this family, the man is wearing a short sleeve shirt. I like him. That that's what you should be wearing on a fall day. Um but you can see that his uh his partner, his wife is wearing a long sleeve shirt um and the children are somewhat dressed warmly but Fall is a very popular time for family photos. We often uh, get a family photo done in the fall um, because it just it's beautiful when all the leaves are on the ground. Um it's a beautiful time of year. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna jump back here. One of the reasons I think it's called fall is because the leaves do fall on the ground. <laughs> so, if you look on the ground around this couple, as they get their family photo taken, you can see that there are tons of leaves on the ground. Um it's also a time when normally there are fall sports. In Canada, there are a lot of fall sports that start in the fall. Um this year, there are no sports though because of COVID um but across North America, depending on where you are, there are different sports that you refer to as fall sports. In Canada, one of the fall sports for us is cross country, okay? Where you run long distances. That is a fall sport. I know in some places, a fall sport is football. That would be American style football but certainly at this time of year, you will see the beginning of fall sports. I wanted to put this here because fall can also mean like to fall over and as an English learner, if you saw the term fall sports, you might think those are sports where the people fall over but that's not what it is. A fall sport is a sport that is played in the season of fall or in the season of autumn. Um so, yes, because the leaves fall off the trees, a very common thing to do at this time of year is to rake the leaves. Um this is a chore that usually kids need to do. If you have children, you you usually make them rake the leaves. The rake that you see there is called a leaf rake or a fan rake. It's a special rake that you can use to rake leaves. We don't rake leaves at our place because we live out in the country. We're not too worried about leaves but if you live in the city in Canada. Well, I said that weird, eh? City. If you live in the city in Canada, you will most likely rake your leaves. You don't want to be the person in your subdivision or in your town that doesn't rake your leaves because then they just blow onto the neighbor's yard. I see Brent in the chat saying, I hate raking the leaves. There, it's not the funnest thing to do. I have in the past lived in the city and I have raked leaves. Um sometimes I help my sister rake her leaves. I haven't done that for a while though. My sister's probably watching this <laughs> saying, that's not true. He hasn't helped me rake leaves for like 20 years. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think my sister watches this. I have helped my sister rake her leaves uh in the past but raking leaves is a common activity uh in the fall. Um and then because a pile of leaves is so much fun. Uh if you have young children, when you rake the leaves into a pile, uh kids will often jump in the leaves. That's a very common thing to see in the fall. Um leaves are just really fun to play in, okay? You can bury yourself in them and jump out. You can jump into the leaves. Even adults sometimes do play in the leaves. Uh and then let me see here. Where are we at? Yep. Uh and then another very common thing to do in the season of fall is to go for a hike or to go for a nature walk. Um we usually call it a hike uh or we might just say to go for a walk but because it's so beautiful outside and again, the temperature is usually very, very nice. It's usually between probably around 15 degrees Celsius in the fall for most of September and into October but it's also usually sunny. So, it's it's warm enough to go outside with just a jacket on or a long sleeve shirt um and uh it's just beautiful. The colors are beautiful. The temperature is beautiful. It's just a beautiful time to be outside. Um I was going to say that fall is my second favorite season. I'm not sure though. Winter is my favorite season and then I think spring and fall come in second and then summer is my least favorite uh because it's it's just too hot in the summer. Uh let me see here. Let's go to 
Let's do one more slide and I'll go to questions. This is not me. <laughs> uh, I this is not a picture of me from when I was young. I didn't look like that but often in the fall people will go for a drive. It's very common to go for a drive in the fall because the fall colors like I mentioned earlier are so beautiful. It's just nice to go for a drive to see them all. So, whether you have a motorcycle or a car um again because the weather is nice you will quite often see people who are just out for a drive or you will see people go for a drive. Notice I used two phrases there. Uh quite common for people to go for a drive especially because certain areas are more beautiful than others. So, there might be a certain street that you know where there are a lot of really big trees. So, you might go for a drive in the fall to see the fall colors on that street. Let's jump over to some questions. I haven't done any questions yet. Let me get my question uh question machine working right um and we'll go from there. Um first question is from Joshua Chong and Joshua says, hi, Bob. What is the weather like in autumn? Thank you. In can sorry. What is the weather like in autumn in Canada? Thank you. Sorry. It's it's half an hour earlier. I think my brain isn't working as well as it was supposed to. Um anyways, I just wanna shout out to Brent uh talked to Brent earlier this week on Zoom. That was a great conversation, Brent. Brent has to go teach class now so he's gotta go but thanks, Brent for uh hanging out with me the other night. It was fun to talk. Have a great day at school. Um what's the weather like in autumn? So, the weather at the beginning of the fall or autumn is a lot like summer but the nights are a lot cooler and the daytime temperature is usually just a little bit cooler. So, in the summer, we have highs of 27 or 30. I think the high for today is 20 or 22. The nighttime lows, uh this is in Celsius by the way. Uh it can be as low as 10 degrees at night or as low as 5 degrees but that is at the beginning of the fall. Towards the end of the fall as we get towards middle of November, it starts to become a little more like winter. Um the daytime temperatures are probably around 10 degrees and it may freeze at night. So, definitely it's it's a season that definitely transitions from feeling like summer to feeling like winter at the end. Let's see here. Uh next not a question but just a shout out from Hamid. Hello, Sir Bob. This is the first time. It's the first time that I'm joining your live lesson. It's a pleasure. Have a nice time with your family. Well, thank you, Hamid. I appreciate that. Um Next one is from Renata. Hi, Bob. No question today. I just came to wish you a wonderful fall autumn season. Spring is just around the corner here. It's so hot. Have a great day, sir. So, yes, again, if you are just joining us, um I realize that this is a um a lesson about the season of fall as a northerner. I'm gonna call myself a northerner and it's cool to think that if you look at the other half of the world, the southern hemisphere, it's actually becoming spring down there. So, very cool, Renata. Thank you so much uh for that. Oops, I'm clicking in the wrong spots. Here we go. Let's see. From Fernando. Good morning, Bob. How are you? I'm good, Fernando. Thanks for asking. I'm Fernando from Terra Nova in Brazil. I would like to know if most English speakers call the season fall or autumn. I call it fall. I will use the word autumn. It's harder to say. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's a lot easier just to say fall. So, fall is coming. It's the first day of fall. Um but we do use the word autumn from time to time. It's not an unfamiliar word. It's just not used commonly in Canada. We will often use the word fall. Um I think in Britain, they use the word autumn more but someone would have to confirm that for me. Um let me see here. Samuel Chen is saying, sorry, my internet connection is not stable enough to watch the live. I have to go now. Wish you all to enjoy it. Thanks, Sam. Uh hopefully, you have a good day and hopefully, your internet gets a little bit better. Let me get to the next question. Um next question is not about fall. So, I am going to skip it. So, sorry about that. Um I usually only answer questions that are related to the lesson. So, this is from Rod VIP. Hi, Rod. Uh by the way, Rod, we need to chat. Uh, I still promised you that we would chat in September and see how things were going. So, uh next week, okay? I'll send you a message. Anyways, Rod. Mr. Bob, hope you're well and rested. How do you like fall? Thank you. Have a great day. I like fall a lot because I like cooler weather. Um winter again is my favorite season but I do like fall because you know, you can wear a jacket and you're not warm. 
Uh, you can go outside when it's sunny but it's still cool outside. It's just a very, very pleasant uh season. So, I do, I like fall a lot. Uh let's see here. Um next question is from Ario. Hola, Mr. Bob. Spring in Japan or in France? Laughing out loud. Spring in Japan. I love spring in Japan. So, um yeah, it's interesting, right? Like culturally, we share certain things that we like. For instance, in Japan, I know they have cherry trees that blossom in the spring. Uh I know that in France because a lot of people in Canada came from France a long time ago. A lot of the fall traditions uh from France came into the province of Quebec. So, very cool. Um definitely not spring right now though in those countries. You guys are heading into fall just like we are. Uh let's see. <laughs> this is from Modine. Modine says, Mr. Bob, how's your fall starting off? Really good actually. If early humans used to wear leaves, then what did they used to wear in the fall? If you didn't have Halloween and Thanksgiving, would it still be a big deal? So, I don't know what people wore uh in the early days of <laughs> human beings. Um I don't know what they wore in the fall if leaves uh started to turn brown and fall off. Not gonna answer that question because I'm not sure. Um and then if we didn't have Halloween and Thanksgiving, would fall or autumn still be a big deal? I, I think so. Although, those are two very popular things that we do in the fall. Let me do one more question and we'll get back uh to the lesson. So, this is from Saleh. So, Saleh says, hello, teacher Bob. Because our calendar is lunar, the seasons have classes of stars. The month revolves around all seasons every 33 years. I had no idea. I that's very interesting. I'm gonna I love reading about things on Wikipedia. So, after this lesson, when I have a bit of time, Saleh, I will read about that for sure. Uh let's see here. Uh next question is actually not about I'll do this as the last question then I'll get back to the lesson. Uh Athanasio says, hello, teacher Bob. I hope you are doing well. People in Canada usually use the word fall mostly. Yeah, we do. Autumn is more poetic is a more poetic word. I would agree. Autumn is definitely a cooler sounding word. It looks nicer. Like fall is just really quick and simple. Like, yep, it's fall. Fall's coming but I would agree that autumn is a more it's a The word is more beautiful, I think, Athanasios. Another thing you'll see in the fall is harvest begins. So, this is called a combine. If you watch the lesson on farming, you would know that. In the fall, farmers begin to harvest their crops. Again, a crop is something that you grow in a field and in the fall, in my part of Canada, people start to harvest two crops in particular. They harvest soybeans. These are soybeans right here. I'm having trouble pointing and they harvest corn. Um you might call corn maize in your country but in my part of Canada, we call it uh corn. So, those are the two main crops that are harvested in the fall. So, soon you will see many, many harvesters or combine harvesters out in the fields uh harvesting the crop. I think I said harvest like seven times there, didn't I? I used it as a noun and a verb the harvest. It's time to harvest the harvest. That's English is weird. Um there are many fall fairs or festivals in a normal year. This is kind of a weird year because there are no fairs or festivals right now. We simply are not able to have those because of COVID but quite often in the fall and normally this starts towards the end of the summer already. We have a lot of outdoor festivals especially in September and October. Like my one of my local towns has a fall fair. Another one of my local towns has a food festival but because the weather again is so beautiful, it is a great time to have outdoor events. So, there are many, many fall fairs and many, many festivals normally. There are usually a lot of outdoor concerts when there's no COVID as well. So, I miss it because there is a food festival that Jen and I have gone to in the past um and there is also sometimes outdoor concerts but we'll have to wait uh till we get through this COVID thing before we can do that again. Uh let me see here. Probably one of the clearest indicators that fall has arrived is you will start to see pumpkins everywhere. So, pumpkins are these gigantic 
I guess I would call them vegetables. They might be a fruit. Don't quote me on it. But pumpkins are these big orange I I was gonna say globe or sphere um that people buy and uh they are used for decorating. They are used for baking. Um they are used for many many things in the fall but certainly you will start to see pumpkins everywhere at this time of year. In about a week or two, you will start to see a lot of pumpkins. So, naturally, one of the things that people do and people will be doing that doing this this fall. Did that sound right? They will be doing this is they will visit a pumpkin patch. A pumpkin patch is a farm or an area on a farm where they grow a lot of pumpkins and it's a common um thing to do in the fall especially if you have young children to take the family to visit a pumpkin patch. Um when you're there, you can buy a pumpkin. You can usually buy other things as well like apples or apple cider um but usually uh one of the main things, one of the main reasons you go is to buy a pumpkin or two. So, pumpkins are definitely a sign that fall or autumn has arrived. Um another sign is that you'll start to see a lot of things that you can buy that are pumpkin spice flavored. So, you can buy pumpkin spice lattes at the coffee shop. You can buy pumpkin spiced cake or muffins. Pumpkin spice shows up everywhere. In fact, it's getting a little bit crazy now. You can buy so many things that have pumpkin spice as their flavor. I think it all started with pumpkin spice lattes a long time ago. A latte is a coffee based drink with lots of milk in it Um, and then you can get it so it tastes a little bit like pumpkin. Very popular drink. Um uh, let's see here. Next one. You will also see more things that are made out of pumpkins like pumpkin pie. I'll tell you a little story here. When I was in kindergarten, so when you start school in Canada at age five or six, you go to kindergarten. I think it's a German word and in kindergarten when I was I think five or six, we had um pumpkin pie one day in the fall and I actually cried. (laughs) I started crying because I had never had pumpkin pie before and I was afraid to try it because if you look at it, it didn't look yummy to me. I was like that, uh, I don't wanna try that. So, as a little child, little five-year-old Bob the Canadian, I cried and the teacher said, why are you crying? And I said, I don't like pumpkin pie. So, I I didn't need to eat it. So, anyways, Lolly Lolly, thanks for the super chat and uh, Lolly Lolly says, thanks, Dave and Todd. Uh, thanks, Lolly Lolly for giving them a shout out. Dave and Todd are instrumental in uh, allowing this live stream to happen. So, I as well wanna say thank you to Dave and Todd for being here. It is quite helpful to have good moderators when you are doing a live lesson. Uh let me see here. The other thing you will see a lot of in the fall, um you will see a lot of apples because in our area, apples are usually harvested starting at the end of August and throughout the fall. That's when apples ripen on the tree. So, many, many apple orchards right now are in the process of harvesting apples, okay? So, a place where you grow a lot of apple trees is called an orchard. Apples are ripening right now on the tree. They're starting to turn red or some turn yellow depending on the variety uh and now right now, farmers who grow apples are in the orchards harvesting apples uh probably as we speak. I bet you if you drove around right now or if you went to an apple orchard, they would probably be harvesting apples right now. Um the other thing is you see a lot of apple cider. So, you can buy apple cider year round in Canada. That means you can go to the store at any time of year and you can buy apple cider. Um but it's the most popular when it's very fresh. So, fresh freshly made apple cider is super super tasty. So, right now for the next seven eight weeks, you can buy fresh apple cider. You can buy it at a farmer's market in the grocery store and it's really really yummy. Um let's see here. Um and then let me do one more and we'll no let's go to questions now. Let's do that. So next question is from let me see here. Shreya says, hey Bob, my question is in Canada, fall is less or more? Does it also affect your flower farm? So I would say like if you're talking about global warming, um it's certainly a little warmer in the fall than it used to be. Um and does it affect our flower farm? Yes, because as soon as the temperatures go below zero at night, um 
a lot of our flowers will die. So, we can only grow flowers outside um while the temperatures stay above zero at night but we should have a few weeks left. Cross my fingers. Knock on wood. There's a number of things you do for good luck um because sometimes it gets really cold early in the fall and that's not good for us but hopefully it doesn't. We'll see. Let's see here. Um so, Key Park says, hello, Bob. How are you? I like the season of fall but I always sneeze in the fall. That drives me nuts. Thanks. Thank you a lot. Yeah. So, some people have allergies. So, an allergy is when um you're not sick but you breathe in the pollen from different plants and your nose gets stuffed up or you get a headache or you just don't feel well. So, Key Park, you probably have allergies. That would be my guess. Uh let's see here. Next one is from Brahim. Hi, teacher Bob. Did you do you feel climate change in Canada? I'm gonna change the question a bit. In these last years or not. Seasons are not as they were when we were young. Uh so, yes, we notice it more in the spring, Brahim. In the spring, we find that um we can plant things outside earlier and earlier. Um we notice it as well in the fall although we still can have what's called a cold snap really early and that's when it gets really cold at night earlier than we were expecting in September. So, yes, we definitely do experience that. Um Amal says, hi, Bob. Hope you are fine. Do people go camping or go to or have picnics during autumn in Canada? Yes, definitely. So, campgrounds, the places where you can go camping are usually open until the middle of October and so, people do camp in the fall. In fact, most retired teachers go camping in September. Um because they don't have to teach anymore and that's a great time to go camping. Um so, September is definitely a very popular month for camping. October can be popular but it really depends on what the weather is like but yes, people definitely do go camping uh, at that time of year. Let's see here. Um this is from Snowflake. Good morning, Bob. How are you doing today? I have no questions today. Just wanna thank you and wish you a great day at school today. Well, thank you very much, Snowflake. I will be heading to school in 33 minutes. I might be a little bit late. No, I I think it'll work. We'll see. I I'm ready to go. (laughs) Uh let's see here. Next question is from Sachin. What are the names of the colorful trees? Because in my part, leaves don't turn color. So, I did fix a few things while I read that. Um so, the trees where the leaves turn color are basically all the deciduous trees. So, all of the trees that turn color um have big leaves. So, pine trees and spruce trees do not turn color. They stay green all year. That's why they're called evergreens. So, spruce, pine, cedar, all of those stay green but maple trees, oak trees, poplar trees, birch trees, all of the trees with big flat leaves do turn color and the leaves will fall off. Um usually the leaves fall off if it rains If we have a a storm where it rains and it's really windy in the next month or two, that will cause a lot of leaves to fall. Um okay, I'm gonna jump back to the back to the lesson. Here we go. So, another thing, another thing that happens in the fall is Halloween. So, this happens at the end of October. Halloween is a time where children and sometimes adults, these people are not children, they will dress up. They will wear a costume, okay? We're not sure there will be Halloween this year because of COVID um but normally people will dress up. You might go to a costume party if you are an adult. I don't go to costume parties but some people do as adults dress up or wear a costume and go to a costume party but mostly Halloween is for children. Children will dress up Maybe they'll dress up as Superman. Maybe they'll dress up as Wonder Woman. Maybe they'll dress up as Iron Man. They'll dress up as one of their favorite characters. Maybe someone from a cartoon and they will go out and do what's called trick or treating. So, trick or treating is when you take a bag, you dress up in a costume as a child. Adults don't do this and you go from house to house saying trick or treat and the person gives you candy or chocolate. So, it's a very popular activity in the fall. There will not be very much trick-or-treating this year. We probably will not take our kids out trick-or-treating this year uh due to COVID. Uh let's see here. Um 
pumpkin carving. So, I mentioned that people buy pumpkins. They do buy pumpkins to eat although it's probably more common for them to buy pumpkins for decoration. They might simply put the pumpkin outside the front door of their house with some other things that make it look like fall but they might also do some pumpkin carving. Pumpkin carving is when you clean out the inside of the pumpkin uh, and you do some carving on the front to make what's called a jack-o'-lantern. So, a jack-o'-lantern uh, is when you take a pumpkin and you carve a face in the front or another design. If you look there, you'll see a cat and on the far one, on the far one, you'll see a bat. Um the middle pumpkin there is a more traditional jack-o'-lantern um but you will carve a pumpkin. You will take everything out of the inside of the pumpkin. Let me go back. So, you'll see here there's a lot of stuff inside from inside the pumpkin. Then you will carve a design in the front, usually a face and then you will put a candle or a flashlight inside at night and the pumpkin will light up. The jack-o'-lantern will light up. So, very common thing to do in the fall. We often grow a few pumpkins. I don't think we did this year and then we do some um we do some pumpkin carving with our kids sometimes. Some years we do, some years we don't. Um but again, this is also for decoration. So, fall decorations are somewhat popular. Not everyone decorates for fall but when you walk up to a house in my part of Canada in the fall, they might have a bale of hay. They might have gourds or pumpkins. I'm failing at pointing. They may put a few things outside the front door of their house to celebrate the season of fall. They'll sometimes have some potted plants as well and they'll do that just to yeah, celebrate that fall is here and it's nice to kind of decorate a little bit. Um I'm gonna do a little switch here. Give me a second. I have to find the right button to click. Um where is the right button? I'm going to switch to members only chat. Give me a moment here. I think I did it. So, at this point, I'll do a few questions from the general public but I'll also do some questions from members. Members are people who have decided to click the join button below and support my channel. So, if you are a member, you may ask questions in the chat right now. I will keep an eye on the chat and I will also answer some questions from everyone else as we go along. Let's see here. Um Shanae has the next question. Hello, teacher Bob. Do you recommend any books or music that can be included in autumn reading or a music list? You know, I don't, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So, sorry about that. Um there, I don't think, it's not the same as Christmas or uh, other uh, times of the year where there's specific stories. Um fall and autumn I think is more about being outside. Um but please ask that question in the comments below uh and I'll try to uh see if I can find some answers. Uh Alexi, hi Alexi. Says, hi Bob. There are many types of maple trees. Some turn red in the fall. Others turn yellow or brown. Will the one beside your picnic table get red? It would be cool to see it. I will show you it. The one by my picnic table turns kind of a yellow orange, okay? Um we don't have a lot on our property that turn red but I will try to when the colors, when the trees, when the leaves really start to change color, I'll try to take a few pictures. Um Panthera Nori says, uh let's see. Oh, Panthera is having a, a conversation with someone else. Awesome, Panthera. Thank you for helping people in the chat. Sam says, hi, teacher Bob. Do you have any particular activities for the fall season only in Canada? Uh not really. I think uh I covered most of them. Mostly, we're just outside a lot in the fall. Um we kind of look at the temperature for the day. If it's a beautiful day, we go outside. It's not the same as winter where there's you know, people go snowmobiling or skating. In the fall, it's very much simply a lot of being outside, trick-or-treating for Halloween, going on nature walks and those kinds of things. That would be the most common activities in the fall. Um let's see here. Lolly says, good morning, Bob. I am late today. No problem, Lolly. Uh you don't need to be on time but I did change the time. Sorry about that. Uh Madi says, hi, teacher or hey, teacher. What's the temperature going to be in the fall? So, it, it's interesting because it has its ups and downs, Madi. Generally, the beginning of the fall is warmer than the end but we can have a week of fairly cold weather and then it can get warm again. Um the the temperature is kind of up and down. We even sometimes get a bit of snow in the late fall um but we'll have to see. We're actually going into a bit of a cold spell for the next couple of days 
and then it's going to warm up again. But generally, I would say for the next while, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius during the day and between 5 and 10 degrees Celsius at night for about the next three or four weeks. Um let's see here. Um oh, where's my next question? Rod says, what do you like to do most in the in autumn? What do I like to do most in autumn? I just like going for a walk. I haven't gone for a walk for a few days. I really need to start doing that again. Um and I just like seeing the leaves turn color. It's probably one of the coolest things about fall. I wish all of you could see it. I know some of you live in areas where it doesn't happen where you don't really have a true fall but um yes, definitely just being outside and seeing the colors rod is cool. Key Park says, hi, Bob. You often say time to time. Does that mean sometime? It means occasionally, you know, from time to time um during the live stream, I will drink my water. Simply means occasionally during the live stream, I will drink my water. So, it's I it's just a nice way to say it. It sounds nice, right? You know, from time to time, um I will go for walks outside to see the beautiful leaves. Um let's see here. Maddie is talking to Lolly. Uh it was your fault. Bob doesn't answer your question today. <laughs> yeah, I I I can't do that, Maddie. I'm I'm too nice for that. Uh Maddie is suggesting to all of the other people, please use the link to ask a question. Um it sometimes is a little confusing, but the chat has too many questions for me to answer them. So please use the link. I try to answer as many questions as I can. I don't always get to all of them. So, but I try my best. Um Panthera Nori, does Oscar like jumping in the leaves? Oscar likes mice. So, if he knows there's a mouse underneath something, anything, he definitely likes jumping in it. Sometimes, even in the flower rows, you'll also see Oscar jump in the flower rows because he'll see um he'll smell or see a mouse. So, if we had a pile of leaves and he thought there was a mouse underneath, he would jump in it. Rod says, James Taylor's song, You've Got a Friend is an autumn song. It has great lyrics as well. Thanks, Rod. That's a great suggestion. Um let me get to the next question. Is from Jeremy. Hi, Mr. Bob. This is from China. I admire the colorful maple leaves in the fall in your country. So, a little fix there. One more thing I want to learn about is where does maple syrup come from? So, maple trees in the spring, as the spring weather begins, as it warms up, the sap in the trees starts to run. It's I think frozen or almost frozen in the winter but it starts to run in the tree and then they can get sap from the maple tree and then they warm the sap up. So, the water evaporates and eventually it becomes maple syrup. Sorry, that's a pretty long description but Maple trees produce sap in the spring and we use that sap to make maple syrup. Let's see here. (laughs) Martin from Poland. Hello there, impossibly handsome Bob. Thanks, Martin. Do you celebrate Halloween in Canada? Does it differ from the US Halloween by any means? Best regards from Poland. We do celebrate Halloween. We take our kids out. We don't walk to each neighbor though. We drive because we live out in the country. Um and it's very similar. It like the US and Canada have the same Halloween tradition. Um kids dress up. They go trick or treating. They get lots they get lots of candy. Um Panthera has a great question. Is the smoke of the wildfires perceptible above Canada? So, there are wildfires in the western United States right now. They are thousands of kilometers away from me but they've actually started to see some smoke above the city of Toronto and close to my area. Very, very faint but the I think the um the jet stream that the winds really high up in the atmosphere blow this way towards us. So, we are seeing a little bit of it. Visually, you can't see them with your eye. So, we say you can't see them with the naked eye. So, as if your eye was naked. We can't see them with the naked eye but when they test, they are seeing some of them. Uh Yuju P says, do you like pumpkin pie? Oh, do you like pumpkin pie? Did you start to like pumpkin pie when you grew up? Little fix there. Uh, I don't mind it but I still, it's not my favorite kind of pie. I like apple pie. I like uh chocolate pie. (laughs) There is a chocolate pie by the way. Um and then Regina says, hello everyone. Hello Regina. Good to see you here. Uh let me get to the next question. Uh Cynthia says, hi, Bob. Do you decorate your house for autumn? If yes, how? We don't. (laughs) We're quite busy in the fall because it's the last part of Jen's flower growing season and I'm back at school as a teacher. 
So, Jen and I are both very busy right now. Our schedules overlap. So, we don't do anything extra. We don't decorate the house. We don't do a lot of those things because we're just very, very busy working. Uh, Tier Agnes says, yes, I know in Hungary and I have a friend who has a cousin studying medicine in Hungary. Oh, very cool. You guys are just having a conversation. Sorry to jump in on your conversation. Uh, Panthera says, thank you a bunch for your answers. No problem. Um, let me get to the next question. So, Winter says, what is, I'm gonna change this. What is the most stunning place in Canada in autumn? So, if you really wanna see cool fall colors, the province of Quebec is gorgeous. Uh, the, I lived in Quebec a long time ago. Um, Ontario is also very, very nice but the province of Quebec is beautiful as well as the province of New Brunswick. So, if you can see the fall colors, I would go to one of those two provinces. Uh, let's see here. Um, Maran says, hi, Bob. Hope you are doing awesome. Which part of Canada is popular to visit in the season of fall? Have a great one. So, almost the same question. I would definitely go to like northern Ontario like the city of Ottawa or the province of Quebec. The province of Quebec is is just beautiful in the fall for sure. Um, let's see here. Wasim says, how much time is over by starting the live lecture? The live lecture is one hour long. So, I usually teach for one hour. I think I will be teaching for about another 16 or 17 minutes uh Wasim but usually I go for about an hour. I'm gonna just gonna do a couple more questions uh and then we will move on. Let's see here. So, Kizmo. Hi, teacher Bob. At present, do you need to stock up on food before the winter comes? So, let me read that again because I fixed a few things, Kizmo. At present, do you need to stock up on food before the winter comes? Uh no. We have really good grocery stores in Canada now. Hundred years ago, um people would need to put away food for winter. So, they would have a root cellar, a really cold room in their house in the basement uh and they would just you know, they would can food. So, they would preserve food in jars. We don't do that very much anymore. We just go to the grocery store. There's always food there. Hey, Miroslav Mihok has joined. Thank you so much uh, for becoming a member. That's very awesome of you. Thank you for joining. Um and then Rod says, looking forward to talking to you again, sir. Thank you for being so caring. Yeah, no problem, Rod. I look forward to it too. Uh lots to talk about. Um school's kind of weird now but anyways, we'll get into it. Uh I'll uh, I'll send you an invite on Skype. We'll chat later next week. Um let me see here. Uh Zahir says, hi teacher Bob. Today, I have no question. I just want to thank you for your cool class. No problem, Zahir. Thank you for watching. And then, this is a great question from Meg. Hello, teacher Bob. Happy Friday. Do people eat jack-o'-lanterns after Halloween? They don't. So, it's kind of a bit of a waste. Um most people carve the pumpkin. They make a jack-o'-lantern. It sits outside. Eventually, after a few weeks, it starts to rot. You know how if you leave something out, it starts to kind of rot. It starts to disappear almost and then most people will compost the jack-o'-lantern. So, that's what people will do with the jack-o'-lantern. Let me do one more question. Uh this is from Hachute. Hello, Mr. Bob. Thank you so much for your YouTube channel. What are the popular foods that make you cozy and warm during fall and autumn? So, we start to eat a lot more soup and we start to eat a lot more stew. So, a soup Uh, I think you're all familiar with a soup. A soup is kind of a a liquid meal, right? And it's um a stew is a little thicker but we definitely start to eat more hot things. Jen and I will make squash soup. We will make tomato soup. We will make chicken soup. We will eat a lot more food. Uh let me just get something set for a sec. I'm going to turn off members only chat. So, we're gonna go back to normal chat mode. Uh, I do wanna just pause to say thank you to everyone who is a member. Uh members are people who have clicked the join button below and they've decided to support me in the work I do and it's quite nice of you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for doing that. Madi has one more question. I don't know why you like winter. <laughs> I think in Canada, you have a hard winter. Yes but I love it, Madi. I even when it's minus 10 outside, I I love winter. It's it's just really nice. Uh Modine though in the chat, I don't usually answer questions but Modine is a long time regular. So, let's take a look at that. What is the reason people in the city of Toronto seem so eager to get past the month of November which is supposed to be part of the autumn season and quickly move on to winter? 
So, something happens Modine towards the end of fall. It gets colder but it's not pleasant. So, when so, here's I'll tell you the difference. When it's two degrees and raining in November. So, when the temperature is two degrees and it's raining outside, we would call that weather miserable. That is not nice weather. We as Canadians would often prefer to it to be minus one and snowing. Anyone here from uh, Russia or northern European countries will understand this as well. Two degrees with rain, I hate it. Minus one degree with snow is beautiful. You don't get muddy. You don't get wet. It's just much better. Um anyways, we should we should get back to the lesson. (laughs) Uh, I do have to go to work in 15 minutes. Um, so, there are uh, a number of different celebrations during the year. In the fall, we have what's called Thanksgiving. This is very North American. Um, in the month of October in Canada and in the month of November in the United States, we have what's called Thanksgiving. In Canada, Thanksgiving is on a Monday and it's usually the second week of October uh, and we get together as a family and we have a traditional Thanksgiving meal. Usually turkey, potatoes, maybe apple pie and some vegetables. In the United States, Thanksgiving is in November. It's usually the third week of November and it's on a Thursday and they also have a holiday on the Friday. So, slightly different times. Canadian Thanksgiving in October, American Thanksgiving in November. They also eat the same meal. Very much the same meal. They'll get together with family uh, and they will have turkey. And they will have a Thanksgiving dinner. So, definitely a very common holiday. Um, sorry, definitely a very common meal for that holiday. Uh, let's see here. Um, the other thing that happens in the fall is it's the season where we use the word chilly a lot. So, chilly simply means cold. So, you can see this person is wearing uh, a sweater and a scarf because it's probably chilly. Chilly simply means that you probably should wear a jacket or you probably should wear a sweater. You are most likely going to start wearing shirts like this with long sleeves because when it starts to get chilly, you just need to dress a little more warmly. Um usually when it's below 10 degrees, if it's around 5 to 10 degrees, we start to say it's chilly outside. If it's below zero, we say it's freezing outside but when it starts to get a little bit cooler, we say it's chilly. Some mornings over the next few months, we will start to get frost. If you can see here, um, it's a little difficult to see but the grass in this picture looks a little bit white because there is water that has frozen on the grass. So, the dew has frozen. Frost is beautiful. When you wake up in the morning, all of the grass will be white because it will have uh, water has frozen on the grass. So, we start to have frost in the morning. Because we grow flowers, we don't want frost until like October, middle of October because frost will kill some of our flowers. It'll kill some plants. Um Miroslav is asking, hello, Bob the Canadian. How many postcards do you have? How many do you deliver to your mailbox every day? Um I usually get about five postcards a week. That's about how many I get. So, it's really nice. I do appreciate them. Thank you. Um let me see here. We also towards the end of fall will have our first snowfall. So, sometimes in the fall, it doesn't snow but every once in a while, it will snow in the late fall. So, sometimes towards the end of November, we'll get a little bit of a snowfall um and we'll call it the first snowfall and it usually happens in fall. It's usually not a lot of snow and it usually melts really quickly because the ground is still very, very warm, okay? So, I see Norma saying, good morning, Bob and all. I'm a little late. Sorry, Norma. I started earlier today. So, that might have caused that. Um but yes, we definitely have the first snowfall. Um you definitely start to wear a jacket and we do sometimes call it a fall jacket. Depending on the color and the style, a spring jacket is often waterproof. So, it's more like a raincoat. A spring jacket is often good for walking outside if it's raining. A fall jacket is usually a different style of jacket. It's a little more, the colors are similar to fall colors. Um you'll notice in my videos, I wear a gray jacket 
you could call that a spring jacket or a fall jacket um but a fall jacket usually is brown or beige and it's something that you wear in the fall. That's definitely a very common looking uh fall jacket right there. Um let's see. Um the other thing that happens is we have shorter days. So, we have already started to notice this that the days become shorter. In the summer, it is light out from very early in the morning till about nine or ten o'clock at night but over the next few months, the days will start to get shorter and shorter. By the time we get to the middle of December, it will start to get dark out at five o'clock at night, okay? So, right now, the days are a nice length um but you will notice for sure as we go through the season of fall that the days will get much much shorter. The other thing that happens is there is a lot of bird migration. So, you'll see birds flying south for the winter. Um geese in particular, one kind of Canadian uh the Canadian geese, they do fly south for the winter. So, you will often look up and you will see birds flying in a V because they are flying south. They are heading south for the winter. They are migrating. Very, very common to see birds migrate in the fall. Um there are some birds that don't leave but over the next few months, you'll notice it gets quieter outside if you live in this part of Canada because the birds are starting uh to head south for the winter. They go to the states. So, our birds have what we call, I always jokingly say they have dual citizenship. Many birds in Canada are citizens of Canada and they're citizens of the United States as well. Let's see here. Um and then as I mentioned uh my with myself and with this guy, you will start to see people wearing long sleeved shirts. I don't wear a lot of long sleeved shirts in the winter in the fall but you will notice people will start to wear long sleeved shirts because as I said, it's starting to become a bit chilly. It's starting to get a little cooler outside. So, they will wear a long sleeve shirt to stay a little bit warmer. And then, you will start to see people wearing gloves. So, I myself have a couple different pairs of gloves. I have very thin gloves that I start to wear in the fall. Especially if I go for a walk, I'll just put on a pair of thin gloves. So, thin gloves mean you know it's not very thick. And then, as we get to the um the end of fall, I put on thicker gloves um because it's starting to get a lot colder outside. So, generally, Canadians have a variety of types of gloves. They have thin gloves for early in the fall and they have thicker gloves for later in the fall. Uh let's see here. I see Joyce Lee saying, this is beautiful. Thank you always, Bob. Well, you're welcome. Hey, that's the end of my slides. I do have a few minutes left. I'm gonna just keep answering questions. So, uh but I do wanna mention a few things. Uh first of all, uh thank you for being here and learning a little bit about fall and autumn. I hope you learned a few new words. Let me get to the questions and we will finish this lesson off. Let's see here. Um next one from Hatoot. Hello, Mr. Bob. Thank you so much for your YouTube channel. What are the popular foods that make you cozy and warm during Hey, I think I answered this one. Let me just go back here. Does that mean I answered all the questions? What? Is it possible that I'm done? We'll see in a moment. Let's see here. Let me check my um let me check something for a sec. Let's see here. Hey, I think I answered all the questions. Okay, let me just put this one up. This is not related to fall but I will answer two more questions and then I might be done. Uh senior Java says, GM teacher Bob, could you please explain what the difference between that and which is? I want to type which every time but my Google extension replaces with that. Um so, I I don't wanna answer this because it's a grammar question and I might give it wrong. What I'll tell you is that in informal English speech, we often use what's probably the wrong one. So, this is the water which I drink every day. This is the water that I drink every day. That is the person um that that's the person that I learned English from. Uh yeah, I'm not gonna answer it uh senior Java because I need to look it up. It in spoken speech, we often do it wrong. Um anyways, you know what folks? Uh I know that it's only been about 54 minutes but We're done. Uh I have answered all the questions related to fall. 
Um, I, I think this is great though because I do need to get to work. So, sorry that the lesson was five minutes shorter than normal but I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button there. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Um, join the channel if you wanna support the work I do. I love making videos. By the way, I did want to announce that I have enough membership uh, members now that I have turned off ads in the middle of my videos. So, there is an ad at the beginning of my lesson. There's probably an ad at the end. I think YouTube adds that automatically um but I decided that thank because members have helped to support me, I'm gonna turn off the ad in the middle of all videos. So, you can watch these videos from start to end uh with no advertisements. I think that's gonna be awesome for your learning. Uh second thing, this video will be uh released as a shorter version with just the lesson in a couple of days. So, watch it again to practice your English. I wanna thank Todd and Dave for being here. I know Brent from American English has gone uh but Brent was here earlier. He is another teacher who teaches English on YouTube. Check out his channel from time to time. I think that's it. I think I've thanked everybody. I think we're done. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to click the end stream button and I'm gonna awkwardly wave while while I click that button. Uh by the way, there is a live stream tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Same time as normal. Um and uh if you have more questions, ask them there. Anyways, bye. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. I can't stick around uh to chat today. I have to go straight to work. So, sorry about that but